Welcome uh, back again for the first time. I don't know. Welcome everyone to Fall of Porcupine. The full game's finally out. Uh, the demo I played like a couple of weeks ago, but uh, I didn't realize that that demo had come out a year prior. Um, so I'm a little late, but uh, you know, whatever. Well, I'm here now and I'm doing the series. I don't know whether it continues off of my... What is this? Oh, okay, they're just saying thank you for buying the game. I don't know if uh, it plays off of my original demo or not. I don't think so. There's a dyslexia mode. How do I turn that on? Ah. Uh, how does that... Oh, it changes the text in and puts it in... Okay, I gotcha. Symbol mini games on or off? It's off. I would like to turn it on. Player guidance. No, we don't need that. Go on. Full exploration mode. I'll be fine. I totally never get lost in video games. Ever. Never, ever, ever. Okay, I'm assuming it may not continue off of my demo. Uh, so we're just gonna get into it and see if the story changes. If it doesn't, I don't know. I have no idea. Full of Pokemon is a story set in a healthcare environment and contains plot points that deal with issues related to stress, illness, death, and self-doubts, among other things. Please pause the game if you feel unwell. Consider contacting family, friends, or professional for support. I'll be fine. I'm not a baby. Is that nice? Are we in the elevator? It sounds like it's... Oh, it does continue off the demo. Cool. Okay, I don't have to do the whole intro again. Hello. I'm dead. If you need context, I'll put the de link of the demo gameplay in the description below. So you can follow along with what's happening right now. Can I use the WAS? I can use the WAS. Okay. I can jump. Can I glide? Yes, I can still glide. Okay, that's cool. Ooh, I am in the sun. Did I die and go to heaven? What the fuck? It's flowy. Like the thing from Undertale. I have a long face. I just got smashed in the face with a box. Maybe that, that's why it's long. No reason at all, you dumb flower. Wasn't expected to run to my houseplant here. What? This is my houseplant? Who were you expecting? I don't know, maybe God? We need to talk about her. The way my pot vibrates when you set her to spin. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what are you on about? I think I'm looking for something. What, what is the, can we talk about, like, what the hell this flower just said? Like, <laughs> we're talking about a vibro or something? What are you talking about? It was important. And I think I've lost it. Uh, is it the patient we were looking for? You don't remember what it was. It couldn't have been that important. You think so? Of course. Come on, relax. Just take a look at this meadow. The lush grass, the bright, warm sun, and this wonderful, soothing music. There's no music. What are you talking about? Not sure I hear any music, though. Yeah, there's no music at all. What are you on about? Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Wait, what? Okay. There we go. Better. Yes, I like this. We're just jamming along. <laughs> Finley's just jamming. Gulamundo. Just let your leaves dangle. <laughs> Leave your worries by wayside. <laughs> just the way he said you let your leaves dangle. It just sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> so beautiful here. I want to pick out my spot carefully. The choice is all yours. Just relax your frazzled feathers. That's the main thing. Enjoy, Finno. So... What the fuck is happening? This is like a big massive thistle thing here. Is that thistle? It looks like thistle, at least where I'm from. Can I go back this way? No. Okay, it stops me. This is just so weird. He squints because like it's so bright. Well, hello there, buddy. We meet again. How goes the relaxation? Did you find the person you were looking for? It's going quite well. It's really nice here. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. Person? Um, I'm assuming they're talking about like... Mr. Andeas or whatever we were looking for before. What? Oh, don't mind me. Isn't it fantastic here? We're all having a great time, am I right? Am I in a coma? Is this what's happening right now? I'm in a coma? Who's the big guy behind you? Yeah, the big giant thistle thing. That's Hugo. We went to university together. He's great to climb ar uh, around on. What? He's doing that all the time. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm dying. He won't let me anymore, though. Not since... I got aphids. <laughs> what is this, this? This this flower sounds like it's talking euphemisms, and it's so weird. Oh, we just like move the plants at will here. Where does this go? The ocean. Ah, oh, dab stuck back down here. Can I jump up? Okay. Eh. 
Trying to get up the leaves. How do I get up there? Oh, no. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to get up to the pot player, but no. Up here. Oh, how'd you get all the way up there? I'm a player of many talents. I'm not allowed to climb here anymore, so I had to come up with another solution. What, just teleportation? What do you want to do? I don't know. Maybe dive into the water. Seriously? I don't know. It looks like fun. Besides, it looks pretty deep. Yeah, that's the point. Well, whatever floats your boat, little fella. I'm more partial to Shay kind of guy. Besides, I'm prone to overboard the ring. Chicken. <laughs> yeah, pussy. Wee! Oh, I'm swimming. Oh crap. What the hell? What is this? Hello. You made it after all. You know me, I never pass up on a good time. Oh my god. Does he have to go wherever I go? You gotta catch a cold. And you need to take care of me. Go shopping for me. Do my tax. I'm not doing your taxes. Alright, well, I'm here now. On the beach. What? What is on? <laughs> Honestly, what is happening? I think I'm in a coma. You look better again. Hey, can you be down when you're down in the, at the beach? That moment when the excess water disappears and you feel the first chickle of photosynthesis kick in. There's nothing like it, man. I just can't get enough. Hey, forget everything around me. What does he sounds like he's getting high or something? Ah, photosynthesis could be such endorphins. So have you found what you're looking for? No, but I don't think I'm actually looking for something. I'm looking for someone. Maybe I'll find who I'm looking for here on the beach. Okay, so... Clearly this plant wants me to stay here forever, that I'm still looking for someone or something. Is there anything down here I can interact with? I don't know. There's a bottle up there. No, I can't touch the bottle. Can I jump on Bouncy Castle? What the fuck? <laughs> I was not expecting that. What the now I'm in it. Now I'm up in heaven. Actually kind of reminds me of the uh, hospital. Oh, there's um Ingrid. Ingrid, nice to see you here. I think she's just clouds though. I don't think she's actually going to talk back to us. Mr. Andes, I was looking for Mr. Andes. I don't know if that's actually his name still. I have no idea. I was taking the elevator and something went wrong. I have to find Mr. Andes. I think Mr. Andes is dead though. You know how much I enjoy our conversations, but I've got a feeling something's happened to Mr. Andes. I think I've, I've something has happened to me. I think I'm in a coma. Uh, there's the elevator. Which was supposed to be broken. Is it actually working now? Just with the power of duct tape. With the power of duct tape and giving it a good old whack. The janitor fixed it. Ooh, what the fuck? In a portal. What the hell? Miss Andes has to be here somewhere. We are here last time. So, we're just reliving what happened. Oh yeah, this was the door that was open. We couldn't get in. And there was the blood that I thought was rust. <laughs> what? Oh, that's that stupid noise again. There are boxes full of documents and folders in the old hospital bed. Strange place for an office. I guess everyone has their own take on interior design. The bed almost looks like an actual desk. Maybe I should. Ugh. Okay, this is not exactly how the lot of demo went at the end. There's someone back there. Mr. Andes, is that you? Mr. Andes? Yeah, there he is. Mr. Andes, you're bleeding. Don't move. Ugh. What? Who? Who are you? Just stay calm. I'm going to help you. Oh, that was what happened last time. And then uh, the boxes fell. We need some help here. Hello? Can I jump out of the way? No, nope. I just get... I have to watch myself get smashed in the face again. Uh, someone do something about that? Hello? Ah, uh, what the fuck? Good morning. Oh! It's an alarm. What the- Calm down! What the- Oh, this is all different. Mum? Brother? Wait, I have- I have a mum- Okay, so we know who Mia, Carl, and Pina are. I didn't realise I had a mum and a brother. I got a message from Mia. I- I thought, like, I was in a coma. I hope you're feeling well again. Glad you're coming back to work today. Oh, okay, I'm coming back to work today. How- how do I- how do I go back? Where's the back? Where's the back? Backspace? How the fuck do I go back? Escape? Escape! I found it. Uh, box fell on my head. Got a nasty cut. Oh, feeling you need me more careful. Do you need anything? Nah, I think I'm fine. Okay, I'll be driving out of town in a few minutes. Is it okay if I stop by and bring you something on the way? Um, alright, what is it? A gift. Okay, so- Oh, is that the plant she gave me? Like, the freaking weird plant that we saw in our dreams? Okay, so then there's Mama. Mother Dearest. There's a lot of text from Mother Dearest. Am I going to get through all of it? I don't know. You're going to be a great doctor, but proud of you. Um, it was really cool, but also exhausting. I was going to unpack a few more boxes, but I think I'll just head straight to bed. Do that. You just have to downtime the boxes there tomorrow night. 
uh, I heard anything. No, my mum wouldn't be like that. My mum would be like, no, 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 you freaking get the shit done first. Like she expects things like everything has to be organised, all has to be done at this very second. I'm like, jeez, okay, mum, fine. Um, And then brother. I don't have a lot. Hey, big brother. Oh, I got a little brother. Okay. How's things going well? Hey, Fiddly, doing just fine, thanks. Oh. Oh no, I'm the little brother. I, I, I'm picking up what you're putting down. It doesn't seem like we talk to our brother much. I got notes on people. We know who these people are, but that's Krakowski. Senior resident. I met Peter on my way to work. She's very nice. as a slash. Okay. Oh, so Peter's the first real contact we had. Okay, I thought so. No tasks. Uh, what's this? Help? Apparently, I don't need help. The game's like, no, figure it out, bitch. Oh, I just got a little band-aid. <laughs> Man, another one of those weird dreams. Oh, there's that flower at the windowsill. I feel really groggy. Feels like I haven't slept at all. Maybe I should just give up on sleeping altogether. Hey, okay, nothing else for it. Time to get up. So am I going to work today? Play it. Why are you in my dreams? Just standing there in your putters if nothing happened. Oh, it's still got boxes everywhere. I used to game with my roommate every night when we were at university. She always kept my butt in one-on-one -on -one Viking battles. <laughs> the one-on-one -on -one Viking battles. I figured I could treat myself to some gaming after work. Fat chance. I haven't touched the thing since I moved in. Yeah, you get so busy. It's just like you get home, you eat, you sleep. It's like, <laughs> it's too hectic. It gets way too hectic. Oh. <laughs> the screen shook when he changed. That was like, he should be a model. That was a quick change. Just like, bam, I'm ready. I'm not too sure where this game is set in though. Like where the setting for this game is. I think it might be somewhere in Europe. I have no idea. It just feels like that. Uh, I can't go this way. What the hell? What's the point of me coming this way then? Am I not supposed to go this way? Was I supposed to go into town? I just was off exploring. I tend to do that in games like this though. Like life is strange and things like that. Like I tend to just like go off and explore a little bit. You never know. You might find some interesting information. What the fuck? Is that real? Is that Oh my god, it is a person. My eyes moved. Hello. Morning, Finley. Running late? Why <laughs> do you look like that? Hey Susie. Yeah, I had a great had a restless night. I was about to say I had a great night. <laughs> no, I did not. I had crazy dreams about flowers and shit, and I di I dove into the ocean, I was breathing underwater, and then I jumped out of bed's castle and got shut up into space. I should post myself to the hospital, that is. Oh my gosh. Don't let me stop you. Don't get lost now. I'll, I cannot make any promises on that one. My phone is buzzing me. I got notes. Uh, Susie. It's the only male carrier in Porcupine. She knows everyone. Perhaps a little too well. I get that impression that she's a little too nosy for her own good. Susie seems like the kind of person has way too much time on their hands. Oh, hello. Who are you? Goodness, you're a fast walker. Are you being chased by a rolling boulder? Good morning. No, no, I'm just running late. Late for an appointment, is it? You know, the more time passes, the less I believe in the idea. What idea? The idea of being late. <laughs> I like this guy. Or girl. I don't know. I think it's a woman. I have no idea. <laughs> Are you new here? I've never seen you before. I started at St. Ursula's Hospital a few weeks ago. So you're a doctor? Yes. Well, almost. A junior doctor. Oh, is that what they call them? I couldn't remember what the hell I was. I was like a student doctor, like someone still studying. I didn't know. I didn't know what to call it. People like you are just what Porcupine needs. I like this person. Adele. Oh, Adele von Witterstein. I'm assuming this place is in like Germany or something or somewhere in Europe. It's somewhere European. Hello. I forget your name. What's your name? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, Giuliano. I totally forgot his name. Uh, he used to be like the boxer guy who was really shit at it. What is that? It's a van. Hello? Rusty old truck wasn't here last time I came to work. Yeah, no, I noticed that too. It's locked too. Suspicious. <laughs> Why do you think everything's suspicious? This ancient bark has stood here since the foundation of the town of Porcupine. Ninoslav Honoratus, the founder of Porcupine, planted it himself. He was known to misplace and lose things. Oh my god. There's always like, there's always like a quirk about some of these characters. It's like, oh, this character was, this person was so great, blah, blah, blah. However, <laughs> however, there's always a however. There's always a but. St. Ursula's Hospital. You squeal, we heal. Wait, wasn't it different? Isn't it you howl? We something? I don't remember. Or is he just making it up? I don't know. <laughs> Jesus bear. Oh, is so it like I pass through these like there must be like a pillar or something there. I pass through it and I just get changed. Hey Ingrid, how's it going? Morning, kiddo. So you're back, huh? Morning, Ingrid. 
Yes, my injury is healing up nicely now. I heard about your accident, of course. Everyone's heard about it. Everyone wants to know what happened up there on the fifth floor. Yeah, me too. You want to hear my theory? Um, yeah, go on. This might sound a bit complicated, but the evidence speaks for itself. I've thought it through several times and it all makes sense. Um, aliens? I've only known you for a few weeks now, but it must have something to do with you specifically. What, what do you mean, me specifically? What did I do wrong? We have a name for the kind of thing here in Porcupine. A sophisticated technical term that aims to define the social and the anthropological characteristics of the phenomenon. What are you talking about? The term is... Klutz. Oh, fuck off. As Mr. Andes. The old Duff is still alive. Oh, thank God. I thought he died. Banging yourself cozy in his bed on your ward again. Okay, I'm really glad to hear that. Because he has Alzheimer's, doesn't he? Because of that night, people now know you. You're the boy who survived. <gasps> I'm the boy who lived. I've got the scar too. Am I in Harry Potter? <laughs> You're a wizard, Fiddly. Today I entered the hospital as a resident for the first time. Ingrid welcomed me and roughly explained everything to me. I'm just concerned about her snacking and coffee consumption. She does what she wants, okay? If she wants to drink coffee till she's dead, she'll drink coffee till she's dead. She seems like the kind of woman who doesn't take shit from- What the fuck? Is that a pelican? Oh my god. Wait. Oh, he was carrying shit in his bill. Uh, hello. Oh, the ambulance drivers. I guess we got like a moose and an elk. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, fellows. I don't know why I'm speaking like that. I'm Dimmy. This guy next to me is Archie. Who the hell names their child Dimmy? Ah, uh, you're the new guy. Frankie? Philip? Franco? Finley. I'm Antonin. Nurse upstairs and internal medicine too. Anyway, I gotta go. Mind you, I, I look so annoyed with him. Like, you got my name wrong. I will remember that. Ah, Finley, half hour earlier. That's refreshing. Just what I like to see. Yeah, I'm on time. I've, I'm punctual today. Of course not. You're horrifically... Oh, <laughs> never mind. I thought I was punctual this time. It was not too much trouble. We'll start our rounds in room 301. Good morning. You're very late today. I know. Ah, Miss Martin, a woman after my own heart. Miss Martin came to us yesterday with pain in her upper abdomen. She was also complaining of heartburn, nausea, and loss of appetite. Yes, but the real reason was sharp pain in my heart. Anyone have any ideas? Mia? Uh, well, come on, spit it out. And, uh, what do you mean? Ah, yes. Ulcer? A stomach ulcer? Is that a question or an answer? My answer. Bingo. The reason for the symptoms is a stomach ulcer. <laughs> Just spit it out, Mia. If it's wrong, she'll fucking tell you. You're not going to learn otherwise. Finley, you'll take care of Miss Martin's medication later. Let's continue in room 303. We haven't been to 303 yet. I didn't even realize there was a 303. There's 304. Oh, damn. How many? Actually, I want to see. How big is this ward? Wait, what's this? Sometimes you're going to hear faint whimpering noises coming from the stalls. What the fuck does that mean? Is there like moaning myrtle in the bathrooms? Well, Larissa, how are we today? Quite okay, Doc. Doc Torsky. <laughs> just like amalgamated her title and her name just all together. Can you take a few deep breaths in and out for us? Uh, they're just wheezing and coughing. Do you want to tell the other doctors why you're here? Well, I was down at school with the others. We were at the back of the skate park. I only just got a skateboard for my birthday. So this is a kid. I thought like, I didn't know who the whole world was going to be, but I definitely want to learn. My board is super cool. It is. I don't care about your board. But what were you all doing down at the school? Ah, uh, well, um, it was like this. My buddy Christo stole some cigarettes from his stepdad. He said, if you want to be a good skater, you got to smoke too. Oh, no. Yeah, don't do that. I really didn't want to, but I didn't want to be a chicken, you know. No, if it's if it's not, if it, I, the, you're missing an eye in the chicken. But if, if it's not right, don't do it. Like, if it's, wait, wait, who the fuck is? Um, don't, don't be there to please everyone else. You do your own thing. You're not there to please anyone. I was still out of breath from practicing. He lit the cigarette and I took a drag. Super gross. I didn't get why grown-ups seem to actually like those things. Anyway, I took a drag. And all of a sudden, I couldn't breathe. I coughed and coughed, but couldn't get in the air. Then I passed out. Luckily, my friends called an ambulance quickly. Well, at least they called an ambulance. Well then, care to share your opinions, my valued colleagues? Are you just saying that for appearances? Asthma. It could have been an asthma attack. Yes, asthma sounds logical. Indeed, logical and correct. Okay, last stop today is room P33. Oh, and Finley? You already know this patient. It's Mr. Willie Andes. Oh, Andes. He's a permanent guest on our ward. 
Mustandes is an old timer. <laughs> don't, don't say it like that. Even to scanning his recent injuries, his head isn't the best uh, of shape anymore. He's got Alzheimer's, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like when we were trying to look for him, Carl said, um, oh yeah, the, the guy's got Alzheimer's. Like he shouldn't be wandering around. Who's that? Everything will be just fine, Mr. Andes. His manner is very important to me and I'll ensure it is resolved quickly. Is this a lawyer? Oh no. Good morning, Mr. Hydric. Oh, Hydric. We talked about a Hydric. Doesn't he work here? Is is he? Does he work here or does he not? I'm probably misremembering it. Maybe he doesn't work here. The poor gentleman has been through a lot. His incident has been of great concern to us over the past few days, as you know. I'm I'm surprised no one's lost their job over this because this seems like a very serious incident. And let's not forget our junior doctor here. I hope you're back on your feet. I hope you're back on your feet. Um, why are you questioning that? Of course, I'm back on my feet. I'm standing right in front of you. I've arranged for Mr. Andes to receive the very best treatment available. That's why we've secured him a place in the next best in the best rehab clinic in the country oh so is he gonna be transferred speaking of which i'm glad i bumped into you this morning dr kakowski would you do me a favor and assess mr andes condition later today if you can discharge him with a clear conscience let me know understood i'll take a look and let you know why are you saying thanks so many times i don't like that good morning mr andes you know my daughter looks exactly like you i doubt that because you're a bear well isn't she the lucky one he's probably about to say no she's ugly as fuck he suffers from dementia but is still relatively fit as you can see he injured his leg as a result of the aforementioned incident he also suffered a moderate concussion would you be so kind as to change mr andes dressings you want me to change the dressing right now you can ask mr andes if he wants to do it himself if you prefer he can't be any worse after i add it than you <laughs> excuse you all right i'm doing it do i know you yes maybe there was an accident do you remember i want lasagna today but hold the salad. <laughs> he doesn't care. Finley, what are you doing? All this stress has been hard on Mr. Andes. Now let him rest and do your job. I think I just wanted to know more information. Your patient is in your hands. Well, that's not good. Oh God, A, B. Oh God, no, I forgot where the... I'll oh, see. Fuck. T, P, I, C, V, V, A. This is hard. W, R, Z, K, H. M. Wait, I didn't have to hold him down? I thought that- wait, well, did I not have to hold him down? I thought I had to hold him down. It didn't seem like I had to. Okay, we're done. Mia, Finley, come with me and I'll give you your task for today's shift. I'll activate today's task in your app. Oh yeah, it's in the app, isn't it? The walls are crumbling, but they still find money for digitalization. We've done a test run and add some updates. Oh, we've done a test run and some updates. So all the wards have to use this app now. The data protection benefits are indisputable. Yeah, I said that last time. I was like, the the data, it seems like you could just like hack into it so easily. It's, it's so weird. And like you like breach of privacy and all that. Downloading today's schedule. Nice. So I got 301, 303, 304. Oh, there's like new thingies on it now. Last time I just said the room number. And make sure you don't collect any more band-aids on your face by the end of your shift. Oh my god, everyone's gonna be cool and be a klutz. I need 301, which is back here. So this is towards this way are the three O's, and back this way are the P3s. So I need 301. And it looks like they need like medicine or something or antibiotics. Okay, so what do I do here? Prescribe the right medication. Try to get all the patients reading to their optimum levels using as little medication as possible. Um, so, okay, so I need less. How do I do this? I, I can only use three. Okay, so I need this one. I need this one. No. Oh, yeah, I need this one and then I would need this one. Okay, so I need this one and then I need this one to balance it out. I think that's it. I did it. Treatment complete. I got an A. Yay! I am the perfect doctor. All right, so I think this is the kid who smoked. Hello, kid. Take up thy stethoscope. Oh, wait. I did this one in... I did a similar one. Oh, fuck. What's it called? What's the game called? Valiant Hearts. That's it. That's what it's called. Do I get, like, an achievement if I get everything, like, A? What did you hear, doctor? Nothing too bad, Larissa. But there was a faint rattle. Is that bad? Have you heard of asthma? It could be asthma. We're running some more tests. And if it is asthma, then there's something to be afraid of. Wait, is there some did he say if there's something to be afraid of or nothing to be afraid of? I was not paying attention. I make a great doctor. There could be something wrong with you. I don't know. You'll be right. Oh, you're standing up? Are you, are you standing or sitting? I have no idea what you're doing. Oh, I gotta do this. Okay, so you, I... O E J K. Ah, uh, so you don't have to hold it down anymore, so I don't have to do the twister thing. That's okay. 
I'm glad they changed that. I'm still, I don't know, somehow I'm still pretty shit at typing. I don't know. I'm I'm normally a great typer, but for whatever reason, I just can't do it in this mini game. All right, Dr. Krakowski, I'm done. All right, let's see. I got all A's, straight A's. Get an S ranking. What? Oh, I got an S rank. I got an achievement popped up. I'm like, get an S ranking. Where? I got an S ranking for the day. Hell yeah. Look at me go. I'm a great doctor. I have another task for you. Oh, okay. I'm giving you the opportunity to save me some time and get to know the hospital a little better. Sure, what can I do? I need you to go to the lab in the basement. I've sent some blood samples to Dr. Halil and I need the results. Can you manage that without injuring yourself again? Why are you going to... Why do people always assume I'm going to injure myself? All right, I'm off. I'm off on an adventure. Ah, uh, there's the basement. I don't think I saw that last time. I think it was covered by stuff. Ah, uh, this must be the lab. See that red light above the door? Uh, yes, I see it. Good, good, excellent. Well then. So I'm here to... You see the red light, don't you? Um, yes, I see the red light. A red light usually means something like very busy. But I need the blood results urgently for Dr. Krakowski. Dr. Krakowski, is it? I see. That does alter the parameters somewhat. <laughs> do you want to see a magic trick? What? I'm not sure. Yes, yes, of course you do. Pay attention. Ah. Ta-da! Can I go in now? What do you think? You see a green light, don't you? Ah, uh, you must be Dr. Halil. What are you doing here? I was outside the door. I was just talking to you. Fascinating. What? Look, I need the blood results that Dr. Kowski asked you for. Ah, indeed, indeed. So why are we wasting our time chatting? I don't know. This guy is just weird. The documents you requested should be just here. You keep your documents in the blood refrigerator? Of course. Saves time when matching them to the samples. The day becomes so more efficient if one reduces the distances between A and B. I mean, fair enough. My system is simple. It cuts down on sorting and filing work too. But... I mean, what happens if you're gone and someone else has to come in and temporarily replace you? They're not going to know where the fuck anything is. Like you need a fi you need a proper filing system. That's not a proper filing system. Fuck me, dad. That bang made my heart jump. My whole system. Now they're going to tell they're going to blame it on me because I'm the klutz. They're going to say I did it. Can I help you? What do you mean? You want to help me? It makes me very uncomfortable. Okay. Why do the samples have different colored liquids? That, my dear doctor, that's my sorting system. What the fuck? Each sample has a sticker on the lid. Each sticker has four different colors on it. Some of the samples fell out due to uh, due to the accident. Others have gotten turned around so they're not facing the right way. You need to turn the samples around until all the same colors are facing each other. When four samples are positioned correctly, they'll make a single colored square. What the fuck? Okay. What the fuck? Uh, what the fuck? Wait. What? Can I move you? I don't think I can. Ah. I see. How did- this is- is this correct? I have no idea. This is weird. Maybe this needs to be green. I thought that was meant to be green. That's not meant to be green. Um, maybe you don't go there then? I don't know. Oh. It only does it. If it's the correct vial in the correct spot. That is the most dumb. That is such a stupid convoluted way of sorting shit out. There's got to be a better way, man. That's not, that's not right. My system is infallible. I'm, I can find many faults with this thing. Thanks for your efforts. I'd better get back to my work. Dr. Halil? Is there something else, dear doctor? The results for Dr. Krakowski. Oh, right, right. Dr. Krakowski. Why didn't you say? Here you are. In my flawless system, I always have everything on to everything to hand. That system is so horribly flawed. I don't like it. Because all I could think is, like, if someone has to, like, if, if something happens to him and someone has to come in and do his job for a bit, um, while he's gone, or if he ever doesn't come back or something. Like, if you need a, if you need a new temporary or permanent position in that, uh, lab, like, you need a system where someone could just come in and do it, um, just, just walk in and it's like, you know, it's, it's basically simple. Not like, oh, it's a system I know. No, I don't want a system that you know. I need a system that everyone can understand. It, it's 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 kind of the same with like you know being a park ranger there's there's got to be a system that everyone has to use otherwise it's like if, if someone you know 
makes up just whatever and they just something happens to them they're gone someone else has to come in and it's like i don't know what the fuck's going on because you made everything so overly complicated i don't know it's that's just how i feel here are your blood results dr kukowski and why did it take so long did the bus to the lab not turn up no i had to help dr halil sort his samples you had to help him do you see dr hill hill here tending to the patients on the third floor no you don't because that's not his job st ursula's is a finely tuned machine if one cog fails everything grinds to a halt call it a day and take some rest maybe you'll feel a bit better a bit more up to speed tomorrow <laughs> have a nice day dr kikowski have a relaxing evening finley she is very like strict but i feel she does care for like her patients and the people she works with i'm super surprised that like no one's lost their job over that accident with uh Dr. Andes. I'm surprised there hasn't been like a massive inquiry. Trouble with Dr. Krakowski? I don't think she likes me. Liking ain't got nothing to do with it, sweetie. Dr. Krakowski doesn't tolerate mistakes. She's an, she's a, she's an, a tough cookie. She's an a tough cookie? What? I think you meant to say she's a tough cookie, not an. Uh, that, that, that makes no sense i i guess she gets really pissed off too oh my god that creeps me the fuck out every time like i pass her i it, it would like with dr kukowski she doesn't tolerate like people being liked to that pisses me off like i hate it when like people just don't turn up on time i don't care if you turn up at the time like if you only just turn up say like and you need to be there like eight o'clock or something i don't care if you t only turn up at eight like you don't have to turn up like half hour before but please don't turn up like five ten minutes afterwards and say ah oh, ha 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 sorry i'm just a bit late it's one of my quirks no that's a fucking stupid quirk i hate that shit it's so dark we're we here all day oh jesus bear weird truck's still here what the fuck? Take it easy now. I don't want any trouble. Oh, hey, it's Adele. I want to talk to Adele. Finally clocking off for the day, huh? Yes, at long last. You're still here too, I see. Still? Please. I'm back here after quite an eventful day. So what now? Off to paint the town red? No, not today. I'm too exhausted. Exhausted? At your age? You should enjoy yourself while you can. Believe me, I used to be a real live wire. A young tear away. <laughs> I love Adele. I can still kind of rug on the dance floor. I bet you can, Adele. I bet you can. It's kind of somewhat peaceful at night in this town. Can I go down this way still? The guy's still there. You're there all day. What do you mean? I only just, oh, you're a different guy. And so my watch begins. Wee! I love the gliding thing in this game. It's so good. I don't know why. I just love it. Okay, time to go home. Why am I dancing? Go. Oh, good morning. Good morning. What? I'm alert. I'm up for it. I could do anything. I'm on top of the world. I'm just like dancing. That's what I would say right now if I were the kind of guy who chooses to up <laughs> mirror every morning. Luckily, I'm not that kind of guy. And luckily, I don't have a mirror. That would be uncomfortable for everyone involved. But at least I got out of bed on time today. That's a huge excess by itself, if you ask me. And I've got rid of that awful band-aid too. Almost seven years of studying medicine and I could finally take a band-aid off without it hurting. <laughs> Maybe I do have what it takes. Okay, well, I'm going to leave that there for now. This has been great so far. I can't wait to see more of it. I would. It's like so weird because I, I want to know. what It's something like what has happened? What What is happening in this town? Why Why did that thing happen on the fifth floor? Like why did um Miss Andes hurt himself up there? Like is it just because he just like walked up there and just maybe hurt himself on accident or is something more sinister? I want to know. Anyway, I'll leave it there for now and I'll see you guys next time.